All right, so what I did is I put some pieces of lumber together of what we're gonna build our bench out of. Okay. All right, so we've got some two by threes, two by fours. Perfect. The top and the shelf will be made of this material right here. This is MDF, okay. called Medium Density Fiberboard. It's basically a sheet that's made of sawdust and resins, and they compress it down. It probably starts out about that thick, and it ends up at three quarters of an inch thick. Okay, so what we have is we have some tools that I think we're gonna need. We're gonna use a router. This is a plunge router. Have you used a router before? I've used a regular router, but not a plunge router. Okay, I'll show you what we're gonna do with that. Okay. We have a drill driver for drilling some holes. Perfect. How about this saw right here? This is a track saw. I've seen something familiar, but I don't know if I've ever used a track saw. All right, well, they're pretty easy once you get the hang of it. And then we need a drill driver so we can drive the screws into the wood. Perfect. All right, you ready to get started? Yes. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll take some of these pieces out of our way and we're gonna cut our legs first. Okay, perfect. We wanna cut them 34 inches, but we wanna establish about three quarters of an inch thickness for our top. Okay. So we'll make it 33 inches. Okay, push it tight, cut it down. We'll cut four two by fours and four two by threes. And now what we need to do is cut the front and the back for our top frame and our bottom frame. And that's gonna be about five feet. All right, so you see our laser line? What we wanna do is we wanna slide that mark that we want right there, the tip of it, on the inside of this laser line, not that line. Because okay. that represents the thickness of the blade and that will give us the exact length that we need. Okay, perfect. All right, go for it. So now we're ready to fasten our short pieces to the long pieces. What we wanna do first is pre-drill some holes here for the screws. And push that in a little bit higher, there you go. Perfect. So three quarters in, three quarters down. So when you're eyeballing the drill, an imaginary line comes through here, right? Okay. So you don't want to be angled off like that yeah. or that. Okay. And the same thing this way. You don't want to be angled this way or this way. Okay. So if you can seat that tip into that screw mm -hmm. tight and straight, okay. then you're going to have less problems driving them. See how your shoulder is lined up like that? Mm -hmm. That'll give you more driving power. Try that. All right, you ready to get started with putting these legs together? Yes. All right, so we're using the two by four and the two by three to form an L. All right. Did a nice job eyeballing those things, pretty equal distance there. Thank you. Two for you, two for me. Okay, so now we have our legs. Now we have to attach those to our frame. Okay. Just don't drill through my finger. Why are you laughing at me? I'm not gonna drill through your finger. Keep it right on its side like that. Let's take the bottom frame. Wow, looks like it was made for there, doesn't it? Yeah. I cut four corner brackets to go underneath the shelf at the bottom to stabilize the table. All right, so let's get the filler blocks underneath here so we don't cut the table. I've marked our width that we're gonna cut it. We wanna cut a nice straight line, so we're right. gonna use a track saw. This is the track. That edge of the track lines up with the mark down there and the mark right here. Perfect. We'll take the saw and we'll put it on the track. You're gonna turn it on, okay. let it get up to full speed, get ready for it, and then slowly drop it down. Okay. Perfect. I'm gonna be right here behind you. Okay. Let it go. Look at that. Let's put it on the floor and we okay. can do the top. 
I think it's a nice height. You yeah. like it? Yeah, perfect. All right, now there's a couple of little things that we want to do. First of all, we want to just sand off these edges because they're a little bit rough. Okay. And I also want to drill uh, some holes in the bench. The reason I want to do that is because we can clamp to those holes, but also they have these pieces of metal that'll stick up or you can push them down. They're called dogs. So what I did is I made a jig. Okay. This jig right here is where we will position the holes. We're going to position them equally across here. We'll put like a row here, okay. another row here, one there, one there, and another one there, which will give you plenty of locations to put clamps. We're going to use a router to drill the holes. On the bottom of the router, I've installed this templating guide right here. Okay. The exterior diameter of that is the hole size that I drilled in the guide. Perfect. Now, if I look, the router bit that I have is meant to drill the size of the hole that we need. Okay. Okay? We'll be able to position the holes exactly every time we move the board. All right, so now, this is a, a plunge router. We're going to start it up, and we're going to lock it in place, and then all you have to do is push it down until it breaks three, let it come up, pick it up, and go to the next hole. All right, all the holes are drilled. The only thing we have to do is do a light sanding around the edge, and we'll be done. All right. I think it's done and completed. What do you think? It looks amazing. I think you did a good job. Thank you. All right, so let's figure out a way to get it downstairs. Okay. Get it in the truck and get it to your house. Okay. All right, get that in. We'll carry it out. Ooh, it's heavy. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.